Welcome, class. Do you guys know the theme of the book? The theme is the NFL on CBS streams live on Paramount+. Plus. That's not the theme of the book. Josh. Hi, class. That's Josh Allen. What Tony meant to say was the NFL on CBS streams live on Paramount+. Plus. That's exactly what he just said. What does this have to do with English lit? Because the NFL on CBS streaming live on Paramount+, Plus is lit. Feels good to make a difference, Tony. Oh, it's about to be a party in here. BetMGM's got all the sports betting in one place. And it's live, baby. Ooh, we're placing money lines in real time. We got second half spreads and third set winners as they happen. Overs hitting in extra innings. Live is where the action is at. Can we got these people a promo? There it is. KG certified, me and P. Me and here with the great Tony Squares today. T Squares in the house, boy. I'm excited about Ooh, it. man, I'm super gassed. For all y'all don't know, man, T Squares got all the motherfucking insight on all the hits. He's the super handicapper. We got him in here. He's going to be our lead on giving us the best deals, the best best, the best odds, the best everything when it comes to betting. Let's get into it. Yeah! Oh, man. Oh, man. It's exciting. It's exciting. Let's go. T-Squares, is this the most exciting first week we've ever seen in football? It, it's up there. It's up there. I mean, you got Aaron Rodgers going to the biggest market in the world, New York. We got uh, uh, Miami's on fire with Tua. Ooh. Baltimore's signing Odell. Kansas City, the defending champions. Who's better than Pat Mahomes? San Francisco is starting a quarterback, Mr. Irre Irrelevant, that came up like like a, a magic story. That was crazy. And then Philly, who, in my opinion, is the best roster in the entire NFL, Ooh. kept almost everybody and has these young guns from Georgia, the college Georgia, ready to rip apart any offensive line in front of them. And Jalen Hurts is a bona fide MVP star. Any team that you go to, there is a storyline to get excited about, except if you're an Arizona Cardinals fan. But everyone yeah. else is an exciting world to be in. And as you guys <laughs> know, at the beginning of the season, everyone's undefeated. Right. I'm pumped about it. I cannot wait to get started. I love this. I love this. I love this. So I got to ask this. P and I got $100. <laughs> we want to put it on the best bet out there. What would you say as far as the first week would be some great odds? Oof, there's a lot of them. The best thing you can do, and it's talking about betting with your heart or with your head. Mm. Right? You can love your favorite team. I'm a diehard Packers fan, so seeing Aaron Rodgers in a Jets uniform and how he's getting all the glam thrown on him is killing me. It's killing me inside. But I got to let that bias go, and I got to look at that Jets and Bills game from outsiders' Ooh. eyes. How do I think it's going to come out? Or you go down your Patriots. You might really love Mac Jones. You might really think that defense is going to be good. They're honoring mm -hmm. Tom Brady at halftime in Ooh, week one. My are. dad's going to be there wearing his Tom Brady shirt, going crazy. But you got Philly coming into town, Ooh. who's coming Ooh. off of a Super Bowl huh. loss, ready to punch people in the mouth and take back what's theirs. So you can bet with your heart. You can love a certain team, or you can bet with your head. Ooh. And what I'm going with is a team that I hate, Kevin, a team that I despise, and it's the Denver Broncos. I can't stand I Denver. I can't stand them either. I Why? can't stand them. Why is everybody giving them a like, bad rep now, yo? It's, they had one this bad go year. way back. This, for me, it go way back to like the 90s when they went to the Super Bowl. To the L.A.? You want some L.A. shit? What you want? What it you hurts. Want? No. Man, this, is, this, is, this is when they went, kept going to the... They, 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 they was just a team I hated. I did not like L.A. <laughs> he was too good. You know what I'm saying? And I just... everybody they wasn't, they wasn't that team for me in the 90s. You know, everybody was rocking with Dallas. You know, everybody liked Denver. You know, it was, it was that little rivalry with them, I felt like. You, know, you just, were the Mecklenburg just... fan. You won, you won, you won Elway. You won, uh, what's the, what's my boy, Terrell? You remember what, the, the, he's the Wait, saluted? No, the run, no, Terrell. The back. Who was the running back? Terrell Davis. Terrell Davis. Boy, Davis. you know Terrell Davis, man. Terrell was hard. Terrell was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Can't deny that. Well, let me, let me bring this back to those guys because they set a standard they that did. Denver is still trying no, to continue. Did. And even though I don't like that team, I don't think Russell Wilson's going to be great. I do like some of the additions they made in the offense. I think they're going to run the ball and really pound that. And Sean Payton is a very, very good coach. It makes me sick to pick them, but you got to go with the stats. They are 25-4. and 25-4. and four when playing a game at home in the first two weeks of the season. Because mm. as we talked about many times, Kevin, those intangibles. These guys are coming off a of summer training camp. These guys are still trying to get into game shape, and you got to go up to mile high and play. 
four straight quarters in hot weather. Denver's ready to play in that environment. The team that they are facing is not. So I oh, hate no, listen, this pick. Man, listen, That's listen, early. Listen, no, I see listen, what you're doing, no, though. Look, I see what you're doing. I ain't really follow Denver like that, but I did have Russell Wilson on my fantasy team. <laughs> and it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare last year. Like, because some, I, I, sometimes I had to sub him in, and I was like, what happened? Like, how did he just fall off so the cliff? Exactly. I feel like. So he can't be no worse than last year. You know what I'm Cannot I, be. He can't be, right? And, he, and then, too, I'm, I'm betting that he, he would not duplicate that same year. Absolutely. No, he he got a great like uh, a, uh, wide receiver, by the way. He's out. But he got a boy down there that can catch the ball. They also drafted another wide receiver in the second round this year that they're going to bring along. And, and one of the themes I want to talk about today when it comes to betting with your head mm. is how much coaching matters. Because you guys know you guys are great players in the NBA, but even the greatest players is made one step better by a great coach sort of directing the, directing the way things go. And in the NFL, that matters so much. Russell Wilson had the worst year of his career because he was head coach guy, by a guy named Nathaniel Hackett who just was not up to the task of being an offensive coach. It's now Sean Payton. Right, who, right, okay. You can love or yeah. hate Sean Payton. He's one of the greatest offensive minds yeah, in the is. NFL. Really good coach. And if he can't fix Russell, no one can. So I do believe he's going to come back up to snuff. But this whole entire, however long we spend talking about the NFL, I'm going to focus on the coaching changes and what I think that's going to bring to these new teams because that's where I think the money can be made. Word. And Denver, with that stat of being at home, playing a team that I think they're better than, I like Denver a lot in that week one game, even though it just makes you sick. Like, it makes me sick trying to pick that, right. but that's where I'm going with Yeah. What's the odds on that one? So three and a half point favorites, Denver at home. Who's the first two games? So Denver has two straight games at home, Vegas and the Commanders, two very winnable games. The, the point spread, three and a half, it's a little bit high that they're favored on. But again, if you can take them on the money line or take that spread down a little bit so you don't have to win, you just have to win by a field goal, I think that's a money pick. I looked at the schedule very Man, vaguely. It's like, Pete, it's like, I don't know why I'm sweating there, but I looked at the first week very vaguely. Yeah. Man, it's like four or five games that can be the game of the week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, absolutely. I, 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 listen, I love football. My first love uh, growing up, loved it, watch it all the time. Me and Pee Wee argue all the time about nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but I cannot remember being this excited for the, f the football season to start. I'm usually like... Uh, football's gonna carry me till I get to the NBA, right? I Man, I'm gassed to see not only the combination with Odell mm. and uh, Lamar uh, up in uh, Baltimore, but there's so many different complexes. I'm I'm ready to see the char man, the Chargers. Don't get me stuck, bro. The Chargers are probably the most slept-on team in the league, bro. Yeah, they. Who the most slept-on team in the league this year? Now? From an NFL perspective. KG, don't get me started get on the Chargers. Get started, Tony Square. I, That's why we got you. I am in full-blown love with the Chargers. I'd propose to them right now if I could. Wow. And it is because uh, I know we want to talk about some season-long futures. Let's dive in right away Let's to MVP it. bets because Ooh. you can bet. You can bet Pat Mahomes to win MVP. He's an excellent player. Just like you can bet Kansas City to win the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. They're most likely going to be in the conversation. Mm. They're one of the best players, best teams in the world. I didn't come on this show to give you Pat Mahomes as my MVP pick. I came here to give you a guy that I think is going to surprise some people, and that is Justin Herbert of the Los Angeles Chargers. Highest paid QB, ain't he? He, he just became the highest paid QB. Right. Just be for a reason. Quietly. He got his boy, hopefully he healthy, his, 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 his main receiver, Allen. Allen. Their entire team he suffered good. injuries oh, last yeah. year. And Khalid Mack. Bro, we forget Khalid Mack was the right. number. Before we started talking about Aaron Donald, it was the Khalid Mack show. Remember right. that show? Right. Remember and, the Raiders show? And across the line from him. Games. Across the line from him is Joey Bosa, who's another defensive mastermind. That team's going to be a lot of fun, and they suffered horrible injuries last yeah, year. Herbert did. included. His second week, second oh, week of the season, right. he broke his ribs. Right. Have you guys ever broken your ribs, torn rib cartilage? No. I, 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 I don't know what that breath. feel like. I okay. tore my rib cartilage once. I didn't want to drive my car. Right. Can't this breathe. guy didn't miss a game throwing 40 passes in the NFL every week. Oh, damn. His stats were still pretty good. They came down from his year two, but they were still pretty good. The fact that he had to deal with all this. His so he's the dark, he's your dark horse MVP? Because of this. Last year, his offensive coordinator, as I said, we're going to talk about coaching. His offensive coordinator... Every pass Justin Herbert threw was the shortest distance thrown of anyone in the NFL. All right, the all short, right. not talking about catches. We're talking about as soon as it leaves his hand, no matter where it lands, it was the shortest distance in the entire NFL by mm -hmm. any QB. That's like telling Steph Curry to, hey, go play in the post every possession. Yeah. I'm sure he could figure it out. He's a great player, but he's better used elsewhere. Okay. They brought in a guy. They fired that offensive coordinator. His name was Joe Lombardi. They brought in a guy 
who is a Dallas Cowboy offensive coordinator, Kellen Moore. Now, Dallas fans, we got one in the room right now. Dallas fans will sit there and tell you, when people are in Dallas, they love him. When people leave Dallas, oh, he wasn't a real cowboy. Oh. He wasn't a cowboy. He wasn't about that. He, was, he wasn't as good as people think. Mm. He, he, we got the good people in here now. Think about what the Cowboys look like the past few years on offense. Down the field throws. Mm -hmm. Big money makers. Dak Prescott airing it out. C.D. Lamb and great wide receivers running all over the place. Tight ends making millions of dollars for what they could do in Dallas. Run games. Excellent run games no matter who was there. Dak Prescott gets injured. Cooper Rush comes in. The offense is still fine because yeah. of the guy running the show. That's and now factor. he goes to Justin Herbert, who has, as you said, excellent wide receivers. Right. He has an excellent running back. He has a very good young offensive line that's finally healthy. I believe the line, this that's is the year. That's what I was going to say. That line, that line is important. This is the year that he takes that next step, that he comes in. He, he, he doesn't have the postseason success with Joe Burrow and Pat Mahomes, but he should be considered one of the best young quarterbacks in the game. And I believe this is the year that L.A. comes together as a whole team and Herbert makes that offense just fly. So that's my MVP pick, and that's the team that I think is being slept on the most. So you saying the Chargers is going to be pretty good then if he's going to be MVP? I think he's going to be excellent. I think so the they, Chargers they are, are going to be excellent. They're a threat for the, to win it. I, I, when it comes to the postseason, it's anybody's guess. In the regular season, they are a threat to have one of the best records in the league. Right, their their schedule to, just right really shapes down. up nicely. I'm over nice here taking my notes. So the over and under is nine and a half wins? That's, that's reachable for them? I think it's attainable very early. For them, I think this is a team that could have 12 or 13 wins by the end Ooh. of the season, fighting for the one overall one seed in the AFC, and it's because of how powerful this offense is going to be. I like yeah. the Chargers, too. I like the Chargers. I told you this, man. I like the Chargers because of their defense, though. Yeah. They got some pieces on the D, man. Nobody talks about, bro. I'm going with the Chargers. All right, what's up, y'all? KG here. Football season is back, and I can't wait to kick off the action with the King of Sportsbook. This season, take advantage of BetMGM's first bet offer. When you place your first wager on your pro football game using my code KG1500. Yes, KG1500. Yeah, buddy. Register an account and make your first wager. If you lose, you'll get your stack back and bonus bets up to $1,500. Start the pro football season off right with a KG certified in BetMGM. Let me ask you something, though. Look. Go ahead. So you got the Chargers and the Rams in L.A. So the we, Chargers is looked at like the Clippers, right? Yes. Like, I mean... I'm just talking about you the know, better it don't team. Matter. I know the Rams is going to be pretty bad. The Rams is my team. <laughs> so I, know, I ain't got no money for them this year. I ain't got no betting money for the Rams this year. Listen, so the I, need to, I need to go ahead and jump on the Chargers bandwagon? I'm for just, one year. All right. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? That's it. Just, you know what I mean? And it's L.A., yo. It's all, it's all L.A. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter know? how bad the Rams is. It's always the Rams oh, sitting there. Oh, stop, man. They're like Clippers stop, and Lakers. Stop. <laughs> Are we there already? Didn't they get here at the same time? <laughs> like, they, they, that, no, it's mirror. They, these two four teams is mirroring each other. <laughs> it is it's really like a mirror hot. damn near. It didn't help that the Rams won one early, too. Facts. They set their mark. They, they both play in the same arena. Facts. They Facts. both, like... Well, How the, does LA the, like that? The, char the Chargers pay money to the Rams to play there. They like paying just like rent. The, just like the Cliffs, they got to pay money. <laughs> so I feel you on that one. But for one year, all come right. over to the dark side. The all Chargers right, might see. end up charging all over themselves and mess it all up. All right, but we'll finally I go to some Chargers games. I've been, I haven't been in no Chargers game, but I think it's time we catch a game. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. I definitely want to do that. Absolutely. Then, yeah, we, we got some things in the, in the chamber, too, uh, on some football Sundays to catch some uh, Sunday actions, too. So stay tuned on that. Is it a better division than the AFC? Uh, than that, than that, than, than that, than the I think it's the best one. I think it's hands that's hands down the, the best one. That's the toughest, bro. The AFC East? Yeah. Yeah, that's the toughest tough. division. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's not the people you name it. Bills. Jets. Jets. Pats. Pats Miami. Yep. All Miami. of them can make the playoffs. All of them. Well. Miami, not, no, Miami not making no playoffs. Pats. Miami gonna make it probably before the Pats, bro. Nah. Miami better than the Pats this year, bro. They are definitely better than the Pats this year, but... Let's it's, bet that. Let's bet that. Let's bet that. What do you bet? Mastro. 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 All right, bet that. Sure, I got pats this year. I Bill Belichick's still over there. You must have forgot. <laughs> Bill Belichick's still over there. You must have forgot. I got you. Yeah. Right. yeah. They just got a Zeke. What did he just say? Did he? Man, listen, man. He don't know everything. He knows something. Are you listening? He don't know everything. The man said don't bet with your heart. Tony Squares, can you repeat the first piece of what you said? Don't bet with your heart. Listen to the numbers. I'm listening. The algorithm. Are you listening to the algorithm? Nah, that ain't always right. The algorithm. The numbers, the numbers. You got to listen the to the algorithm. Uh, are, you, are you tapped into the algorithm? No, nah, we ain't tapped into that. We ain't always got to be about the numbers. 
I'm rolling with, I'm rolling with my heart on this. All <laughs> it's all numbers. <laughs> the thing on the Pats side, though, they have the best coach. That's what I'm saying, man. They what y'all talking about out here? excellent defense. That's, you got D. And they have a new offensive coordinator. We keep on harping on offensive coordinators. <laughs> Their offensive coordinator last year was Matt Patricia, pencil behind his ear, they rocket scientist, was oh, just terrible. Pats, Pats, Pats are going to be lot, much better. With your chest, they going to win 10 games, motherfucker. 10. Say with your chest, uh, another right, bet? Right. A 10? And playoffs? Chopping down. Chop oh. down. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Miami's better, but the thing that worries me, KG. Look, he worried. You see that? Oh, he no, worried. He, 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 <laughs> the, he thing, worried. <laughs> the thing that worries me is, 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 worried. <laughs> is the health of Tua. There we go. Behind an offensive line seen. that has been leaky. Tua has put on some weight this offseason. He's talked about it. He's getting stronger. He's also taken judo classes to learn how to fall. I don't run know up. what that means, oh, but that's been out up. there. What's that's what's been out up. there. He said run up. Exactly. He's telling you me things that do not translate to the football field. Listen, listen, karate, jiu-jitsu, all that is bad. Balance, being able to, you know, feng shui, mu chi. No, he telling you to run up. He telling you. He telling you. Man, tour, tour out there. He ready. Man, that well, Listen. So you saying the past will have a better season than the Miami Dolphins? Yeah, that's always, been a, that's always been an interconference rival, by the way. Miami and Pats, they've been always going at it. They didn't kept, the Pats didn't kept them out of the playoffs stay, stay for so long. Stay with the long. question, though. Stay with the question. Stay with the question. Yeah. Are you saying that the Pats are going to have a better season than... Yeah, if I'm, a, if I'm a betting man and... It's just a yes or no? I'm going with the Pats. Wow. All day long. Wow. No question. Injuries come up into play. That de- I'm telling you, anything gets damaged on that defensive end with the Pats, it's, it's a wrap. Man, They're Miami, holding it down. Man, They're top-heavy. They're top-heavy defense. They're top-heavy defense. Yeah, Miami Miami's top-heavy defense as well. Yeah. Great players yeah. on both. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, it's we're inconsistent, both. dog. Let's get it. It's a new year. Can I say one thing, though? Let's get it, Swiss. Miami. New England, they're both going to stink compared to the Jets and the Bills. Oof. So you guys can make your bet over who gets third place. We in just that got division. that right I'm not, there. I'm not sold on the Jets. It's not, not Jets and Bills. No, I'm not sold on Jets. What's so you're not watching Jets? Hard Knocks then, right? You're not watching Hard Knocks? <laughs> not watching none of that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, watching, I'm watching the entertainment. It's entertaining. <laughs> got you. It's entertaining. Cool. Got you. <laughs> Heard you? Yeah, it's entertaining. Oh, no, you it see is. what I'm saying? It's it a good is. reality show. Yeah, got it. It's a good reality show. Do you think Aaron Rodgers is going to be as good as people nope, think he's going to be? Nope. Nope. I think it's time. I think he almost he got one foot out of the league. Ooh. I do. I think he was close to retiring in Green Bay. 100%. Yeah. He was yeah. close to retiring. Now, all of a sudden, he remotivated. So, I'm saying, I, you know what? When I hear you say that, it comes off like an assumption like he was ready to, to be done. Yeah. Ability-wise, he still can play, though. But I'm saying, That's when you win that, about. that thought process yeah. creeps into your mindset yeah. Yeah. As, a, as an athlete. Mm-hmm. You know, when you start having that thought process, you know when, you, when doubt is created in your head, that's, that's a form of weakness. And I'm not saying that Rodgers ain't going to be good, but he, he was one foot out the door, so I'm not sure if things go bad out that way, it can go all the way south. Mm-hmm. You know, and he already, like, thinking, like, shit, I'm about to retire anyway. Mm-hmm. If it don't go right this year, I think he done. Mm-hmm. So I'm factoring those little things in it that... You know, the mindset ain't what it used to be. You know, he's all-time great, four times MVP, all of this. New situation, new city, big city. I got to Brooklyn, and I, yeah, when we got to Brooklyn, I was like, shit, it's the end of the road for me. You know, I'm going to have some fun these last few years. I'm in a big city. I'm in a big city now. You know, I'm going to enjoy my life, restaurants, and, and what the big city got to offer. And, and you know, they may, may or may not make the playoffs, but I just, it ain't the same when he, like when he was in Green Bay. So, so let me stay on that because I think you bring up a great point. When you, like, mentally have one foot out the door, is it impossible for you to take that foot back in and jump all the way back in? I just think that the focus ain't quite the same when you were young and stuff. It ain't, you ain't doing the 6 a.m.s yeah. uh, the, 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 consistently anymore. You, you, you a little older, so your body can't recover as fast. So you ain't doing all that stuff that made you great. So you older, you around a lot of young guys who you can't relate yep. to. You know, there's going to be some maybe a disconnect at some point, you know, when stuff ain't right. And you start seeing that when, when you ain't throwing to the young receiver and, and he over here, he the guy, he's like, man, you know, he like, you feel what I'm saying? You know how that disconnect started getting there when you got older with the young stars? It started becoming a disconnect. And then you'd be like, man, um, you could just be like, man, I'm off this shit. I look at it two ways. Um, and then this is perspective. 
I think when you get older, that's when the 6 a.m.s and the 5 a.m.s come into play because you have to get up early to mm -hmm. start your body. You have to get going early. You have to do more when you're older, right? So when I was younger, I probably could work out longer, but I don't know if I was getting up at no 6 a.m.s, 5s, you know what I'm saying? I started, I started really locking in when I probably got like five, five to seven years in the league. I started getting to whatever. I'm only saying this to say that when I'm watching the entertainment, the reality show. Yeah. He looks like he is getting along and looks revived. It sounds good. That's what I got these you. shows do. I'm talking about <laughs> some shit you can't. Listen, uh, Hard Knocks puts you in a position to show what's behind the curtain. So we're watching what's behind the curtain, so to speak, right? Man, you can front some shit. You can't front chemistry. You can't front if I like you or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about from a professional and coming in doing your job. They're showing an intricate version of Aaron Rodgers that none of us have seen. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it on television. They had the script, my guy. Got it. I got it. I got that. I'm just talking about the believer <laughs> part. Okay, so when I heard you talk, I heard you sound like you was a non-believer in that. I'm the believer in the other side. And then the other side, I'm saying, he looks, he, if he had a foot out that was in Green Bay that was, you even told me this about Boston, being in Boston, it was wearing on you. You know what I'm saying? You came in and you got to lose and, and, and it made you question, did you want to do this? Well, that situation came off very parallel to what you, what you were saying. No, I wasn't older than though. Green I Bay. Could, I could bring it I'm back I'm just talking you. about being in a place overwhelmed with just emotional loss and stuff like this. We, we've been there, right? He looked like he was over the Green Bay situation and looks revived in the Jets situation. That's what I'm saying. And not only that, but he got some great continuity with some great young players on both sides of the ball and the coach. When I'm watching that shit, again, I'm the believer. The continuity and all that shit looks like it's working. Mm -hmm. Behind the closed doors, you get to hear the intricate version. They got Dalvin Cook. They got, they got, they got, the, they got the, one of the best fucking running backs that still has something in the tank. I'm talking about all the pieces the Jets are putting together. Yeah, I'm but, talking I mean, about that. Good. So that's what I'm saying. He's he's good. I don't know what the uh, Green Bay uh, Ran Rodgers. I'm talking about this New York Aaron Rodgers. Looks revived. He looks Listen, younger. Man. He's outside of himself. He's conversed. Man, from from the Ran Rodgers I heard and what I'm seeing, yeah. he was nothing like that in Green Bay. So he looks revived. You know what? I wasn't over the uh, uh, I wasn't over the Celtics stuff. So when we got to Brooklyn, I was sitting up and thinking like, you know, uh, we're gonna help the Brook Lopez's and Darren Williams and the Joe Johnsons get on the other hump. Yeah. Guess how they was looking at me and Pete? Nah, y'all Celtics, y'all not one over here. Here, carry us. And that's what the Jets look like when they talk to Aaron Rodgers. They are believing in, in their man. Yeah. They're believing in his whatever he has. And that's, and that's where it starts first. So I think the Jets are, is great for the narrative. I think it's great for uh, what uh, football is, is throwing at us because it's got us excited, right? Because I can't remember the last time during tennis season when I was just excited about football coming into the first season. So let me take that and figure out how we can make money on it, make a bet on that. Because I'm right there with you on the narrative. I'm right there with you on Aaron Rodgers. I think he's bought in. I know he was one foot out of the door from my team, Green Bay. But in New York, it seems like he's fully bought in and yeah. rejuvenated. Love that you use that word because it is true. When Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay, which wasn't too long. Hey, look, oh, he ain't no Tom Brady. No, 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 no uh, I don't want to hear all that. Oh, Aaron, don't talk about my man now. Slow Aaron Rodgers is Slow not Tom Brady. All right, then. Don't I'm put right him there. in the same conversation then. But, but it's a similar situation where Tom Brady did not That's enjoy not his time in New England, so he went to a team where he thought could win. That was Tampa Bay. And now, boom. listen. Listen. Brought the chip. The first year he <laughs> right was away. with Tampa Bay, middle, <laughs> middle of the season, the Buccaneers were just a 7-5 and five team. They were just figuring out how to play together. They were figuring out how to work together. Seven to five, it was winning the defense, record. The defense, winning record, but not a team. And it, the offense was really struggling because That's they were trying saying. to the get each other together. The defense was solid. And then they clicked. They didn't. After they went seven and five, they did not lose it on the game. Won the Super Bowl. Won the whole thing. So whether you think Aaron Rodgers is out or whether you think he's fully rejuvenated. Those first six games on the schedule for the Jets are extremely difficult before mm. they're by. Extremely difficult. Watch how the season plays out. I don't suggest making a season-long bet right now on mm -hmm. them. Watch how the season plays out in mid-season. If you still see rejuvenation or if you see a guy who's out the door, that's when you mm -hmm. jump on I'm it. I'm a guy who's enjoying life in New York. It's going to take them a t some time to get together and get organized and get in jail when it's actually on the field. So watch it happen for a little bit. I'd be hesitant to bet anything right now because I'm feeling both. I'm feeling you both. You can see both sides of it. Yeah, all, I see right? it though. Yeah, I'm watching both. I, Pete, I, I didn't mean, say anything. You know, right, right. I, I'm I hearing see what both you're sides. Saying. I hear what no you doubt, say no too. Doubt, though. No doubt. I hear what no you're doubt, saying. No doubt. But this, I'm looking at, you know, I think it could be that way too. I love it for New York. 
Oh, unbelievable. Because you know what this does? This activates New York, man. Y'all know the saying. Y'all, you know my little saying? Yeah, they I mean, New York lit. lit. Everything lit. You feel me? Man, New yeah. York needs it, bro. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It, it, it needs it. I love this for them. I love this for the Jets, too. They've been, they've been on the bottom for a minute. So Forever. It's, it's, this, this is good for football. With all the hype they have, they also have one of the craziest starts, too, right? Yep. P, they start off with the deals. And their schedule is probably the toughest, but yeah. Vegas has to make nine and a half wins. Yeah. So this goes back to your theory, what you think, eh? If I had to make a pick, I'm leaning more towards the rejuvenation. And that defense won seven games with Zach Wilson back there, who was not an NFL quarterback. So I believe the defense will still be very successful and will keep them in game, so it won't be all on Aaron Rodgers. So I am leaning towards yeah. the over on that nine and a half. Mm. However, again, those first six games are a slog before the bye. And if this team starts to fall apart and we see the Green Bay Aaron Rodgers, then I'm trying to find a way to back out of that bet as fast as I can. But if I have to make a pick, I'm leaning over nine and a half. I'm going under. Really? Under. Based on what I'm saying on I got about you. the situation. I got, you. I got you. Toughest schedule. I got you. The motivation may ain't the same as it used to be. Yeah. Got it. That's I'm, the scariest that's part. The sca that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I'm taking the under. Listen. The Jets winning is good for the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Tom Man, they Brady. could do without the Jets. Jets winning is good for the <laughs> NFL. And like we said, Jets is like the Clippers of New York. So it don't matter. No, you said that. <laughs> no, you said that. They are the Clippers. You said that. <laughs> they you are, it's that. true. They're the Nets. They're the Nets. They're the Nets. <laughs> They're the Nets. <laughs> <laughs> the Clippers are getting a lot of... <laughs> yeah, Clippers, 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 Clippers going to have a good saying, year this year. I don't know what people are talking about. They're not on right. these teams, but we all know <laughs> when we come to these big cities, who's the... Who's the big dog? Who's Listen, the big dog? If there's any Clippers fans out there watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I just want to say Clippers. that right now. I mean, I love it, but they, it don't matter. They got to win. For the Clippers to overtake L.A., they got to win like 18 championships in a row or some <laughs> shit. Like in a don't row. Don't count those Minnesota championships no, the Lakers, for the Lakers. It's just, it's just history. The historical value with the Giants in, yeah. in New York, with the Knicks in New York, with the Lakers in L.A. You know, it's just the horse. historical value doesn't compare when we look at the teams that are in the big cities yeah. that share the same city. Yeah. What, what happens when those franchises aren't what they should be or up to standard, when the Lakers or the Rams matter. look they like trash? They, they fan oh, base no. is not going to... They I walk around, that. I live in L.A., the Lakers can be 0-35. You're going to have... Cats in L.A. with the Laker jersey talking about Laker game, like, <laughs> all day. And, and it's, it's, it's religion. If they 0-35 and, and going to the club and the Clippers are 13-0, and zero, the Clipper in line and the Laker line, who gets in the, the Laker club getting in first. The Laker getting in first all with a 13-0? And y'all 0-13? All day. If the Lakers are 0-13 and the Clippers in 13-0, the Clipper ain't getting in first before the Laker? They ain't even got a table for the clip. He got to stand by the bar. He got to stand at the Yo, bar. The, <laughs> so let me ask you that. If the Jet and the Giants are at the door, at the club, who getting in first? You gonna have to get in the line, <laughs> and the Giant gonna go up in the VIP line. They gonna um, the velvet this rope, year, move Pete. the velvet Not rope. Not this year, Pete. Like, not this year, Pete. <laughs> Saquon wait, 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 Barkley hold on, hold on, hold on. and Aaron Rodgers at the same club, one in each line. Who get in first? Saquon, we have you your Saquon, we, have your, we have your table for you, Mr. Saquon. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, right through here, through the back door. Can we see your we credit card you, and security? ID? Who, who do you have with you? <laughs> we have your parties? Aaron, can we see your credit card and ID? Oh, no, Saquon, oh, no, oh, no, we have your table ready. And then the boss comes. You're fired. Get out of here. <laughs> nah. Sorry, Mr. Rodgers. He's new. Nah. Come through nah. here. <laughs> They, they got Saquon, they got him the side they, they got his table deal. ready. Nah, he won't here. He might be gone next year. His yeah. regular, his regular yeah, his table. Regular table. Hey, what? <laughs> yeah, his regular table ready. Aaron Rodgers in town. About? Aaron Rodgers in town. Dawson, That's all right, wait in line, Mr. Rodgers. Can we have town. your ID and credit new card? Sheriff, new sheriff in town. Please. Nah, new sheriff in town. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who are you? Right. Who are you? I don't know you. Right. Who are you? <laughs> the NFC got some players too, though. Who you like in the NFC? The NFC, we've talked about the AFC a lot. Yeah. A bunch of stars there, a bunch of quarterbacks who can do it all there. The NFC is more open. Aaron Rodgers left. There's a lot of people that have left the mm -hmm. NFC. It is a wide open conference. And last year we saw Philly and San Francisco take it over, yep. uh, both in completely different ways. And Brock Purdy now is suddenly the quarterback in San Francisco. Jalen Hurts is an MVP favorite for Philadelphia. Yeah. Those two teams are going to be awesome. But rarely do you see the top two seeds in the NFL repeat year after year. It does mm -hmm. not happen as much as you would think. 
those teams also are playing much tougher schedules than they did last year. San Francisco, in 17 games, plays four opponents coming off of their bye week. And you guys know how much rest incorporates in the NFL. You have an extra week of prep. Four four times. Hell yeah, short weeks. You you know, they play on Thursday. They got the Thursday game. You know what I would like to know? The record overall last year on teams coming off the bye week What's that record? Mm. So even San be Fran- interesting. even when San Francisco comes off their bye week, they're playing a, an opponent coming off their bye week. They don't even get that advantage. Oh, they don't even get that advantage. That schedule advantage. really That's screws terrible. them over. Philly, however, uh, the end of their season is a tough, tough, tough schedule. They play like Dallas two out of the three weeks, San Francisco in there, Seattle. A lot of really tough. The beginning of the schedule, though, very easy for Philly. But there's one team in the NFC. We talk about the Chargers being slept on. There's one team in the NFC that's getting a little bit of buzz and I can't help it, but I'm jumping on there too. I, I, I cannot help doing this. You guys talked about the Clippers of New York, the Clippers of, uh, of the LA when it comes to football. <laughs> Let's talk about the Clippers of the NFL. Sorry again, Clippers fans. It's the Detroit Lions. Oh, yes. This team has been yes. bad oh, for so God. long. They go hard, Pete. Oh, my God. You're I thinking about know. the jersey, Paul. You're thinking about like the team in the too. jersey. You're not thinking about the team that was there last year. Yeah, because this team last year, Their defense was horrendous at the beginning of the season, was record-breaking with how many points and yards they were giving up up in a game. They changed that and got better as the season went along, but that offense, you talk about Kansas City, talk about Buffalo, Detroit was right up there in yards per game and points per game last year. Jared Goff had one of the best seasons of his career last year under the offensive coordinator, Ben Johnson. This offensive coordinator, Ben Johnson, that ran that offense, he got interviews to be a head coach. He declined them. It wasn't the team that declined them. The, the person said, no, I don't want to be a head coach right now. I want one more year in Detroit because I think this offense can do something special. And this offense, with Jared Goff throwing the ball, Amon Ross St. Brown, I think is one of the best receivers in the world. Thanks. And they have a running back, two, two new running backs now, one in free agency and one out of the draft, Jameer Gibbs. That was a first-round pick that are going to light up the scoreboard. Mm-hmm. They drafted a linebacker in the first round, and everyone's like, what are you doing? This linebacker could have 100 tackles as a rookie. This defense is ready to go with a bunch of young pieces, now a year better into that. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson, second overall pick last year. He's going to destroy folks this year. Oh. I think this Lions team... As much as that uniform looks like a loser, like you see that uniform, you're like 0 oh, 16. That's what you look at. You I think like it's a, a special lie. year in Detroit. I'm really hyping it up. I think it's a, it's truly gonna Wait, be right, hold on, all right, so, magical. I'm, so, I'm believing in that, by the way. I mean, great salesman. No, 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 great no. salesman. You know why I'm saying that though? Because no, no, everything no, he's serious, saying is dead on. He he left the coach out though. Listen. The coach, they got a great coach. All them things he said right there, P. I'm telling you, I want, they they was a hard knock last year. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> He got you believing this. 1982 can give you 100,000 more miles. <laughs> when that really thing really broke down. But anyway, but, but listen. I can't stand Thanksgiving <laughs> because I have to watch the Detroit Lions every year <laughs> on Thanksgiving. Hey, man, you're going to have to get over this, bro. Listen, you, you need I to am some never going to be sold on the Lions. Get some therapy. Are you serious? How, man? Listen, How? Dog, you, they, you, tradition, they, bro. First of all, they threw away Megatron's career. Yeah. They threw away Barry Sanders' career. Mm-hmm. Like, how many more great players' career no. are they going to just throw away? You have an and agent. Not, you can, you can, not you can give them a chance to, you to can, be in the You playoffs. can go to another team if you want to. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, they played in places where, in Detroit, they played there. They to me, it. that is probably the no. worst ran football franchise. Oh. I, I will say you're uh, right in the fact in that history. I will say you're right in the fact that Thanksgiving every year has us in the mindset of oh the Lions are terrible. But we that's the reason why I think they're being slept on right now, especially in the sports books with their odds, because this team on paper is so much better than the odds that they're being given. But because they're the Thanksgiving losers, because they're year after year getting just stomped on, that's what we're used to. We have that preconceived notion. It's a new year. Yeah. It's 2023. Yeah, Barry Sanders yeah, and Calvin yeah. Johnson so they ain't there. But they got a new makeup kit. No, they got a whole <laughs> they new. new they, they got a whole they new gear. Put it together better. New gears, now. right? Put it together better. Got a whole new chick. She ain't even so, look like that. As soon no. as they wash that makeup nope. off, they gonna we gonna nope. see what it is. <laughs> they got a whole new. They got a whole new new thing. We that, gonna be that, like, that, we gonna that, be like, ugh. We gonna be like, ugh. No, no way. You mean the lights come on? No. Lights come on. When they wash that makeup off, we gonna be like, ugh. No, it ain't going nowhere. She tan. She got in the sun this time. That's her real hair. You know that thing. Real, you know that? that wig gonna fall no, off? No, no way. That's real. <laughs> no, uh, uh. <laughs> so Vegas also has them at nine and a half wins. Hey, no. Games. no. They, won, no. They, won, they won nine games last year. All right, you laugh. Hey, get this. Hey, make sure we get a two shot on nine P laughing. Put the, yeah, I need a two shot on P laughing. Oh, we're gonna no. look your ass I'm up taking, in week I'm 11. Week 11, we're gonna hit your ass.
Hey, well, can we roll the video, please? <laughs> Are you I'm laughing? I'm taking the under on this. <laughs> <laughs> you got 100,000 on the under? Uh, man, bet the house. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, listen, let me ask you this. Two questions. Why do we see so many... What's, what's First off, what's going on with the running back? Why, why are we seeing so much mm. um, demise on the running back? The game changed. Just like the NBA, we threes, with no big, big men. With the bigs, remember, it feels like that. Are they trying to make the, the running back obsolete? It's what's all, going on? It's also because if you could get... If you could pick up a seven-foot center off the streets every year and have them be a serviceable NBA player, you wouldn't pay the centers any money. It's, that's, that's what's happening with the running yeah. back position. You can get a bunch of running backs for cheap as a rookie or a free agent. There's guys that are, Kareem Hunt does not have a team right now, and he's a pretty good NFL Hell running yeah. back. He's not, yeah. he's not you know, a uh, Christian McCaffrey, but he is a serviceable guy. He doesn't have a job. Leonard Fournette doesn't have a job. But there are plenty of people that take that spot immediately for cheaper. That's sadly what is happening. I think the running backs should be paid because they are excellent players who take a pounding every week, probably the most punishment out of any position in the world. But because that, there's only one of them per team, or one to two of them get, get a run at on every team, it's such a replaceable position that to save money, you're getting a guy off the street versus paying the Derrick Henrys of the world. So that's sadly what's happening. Damn, so the value of the running back now This is what down? I say. Look at, this, look at the teams who win Super Bowls. You know, the most valuable player uh, in football is the quarterback, 100%. <clears throat> obviously. Yep. But when I look at the football champions, it's not that superstar running back or that superstar receiver. You, you know what I'm saying? All the time. So if you could get somebody just kind of decent and just have a solid tight end and a solid, but your quarterback got to be MVP caliber to win. Mm. Do you believe that? Mm. You got to win a Super Bowl. Your quarterback got to be MVP caliber. I think you can start and stop the conversation looking at Super Bowls with the quarterbacks. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. So, so like in basketball, <clears throat> they say one player can really change a franchise. I, I truly believe that in football, too, with the quarterback. That's yet, the only position. And though. yet you still hate the Jets. You walk I mean, he's old, man. He, 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 <laughs> traditional. You know what I'm saying? He, traditional. Traditional. I like him, though. I like him. So if I had to compare, like, Aaron Rodgers to the equivalent of a player today, he like Chris Paul. Mm. You, you know what I'm saying? He good. Mm. But I don't think you, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure he can carry them over the top. They ain't what? running the whole offense through Chris Paul right now. Damn. Aaron Rodgers is like that. a D-Wade, Lord. He like a... No, I'm saying of somebody playing today. Playing, like, currently playing. You know what I'm saying? Older, like KD, though. older, great. No, you crazy. Aaron Rodgers is like KD. KD gonna be nice forever. Aaron Rodgers is gonna be nice in football. Brett Favre is gonna be nice forever in football to me. <laughs> Brett Favre ain't even playing no Nigga, more. Nigga, I'm talking about when Brett Favre got in here when he was 90 years old and came to the Jets and got off. That's what I'm talking about. He right. like That's five what I'm talking about. He that like five that actually happened. Can we get this in factual? We got that. That actually happened. How many happened. interceptions he throw to the Super Bowl? I'm, I'm talking about that. The, now, the next year, he did all that. Now, I'm not five talking about that. I'm talking about when Brent Farr went to the Vikings, excuse me, and showed his ass. That's and what I'm talking about. threw five interceptions. I got you. You're right. You're, you probably did, but he did a magical, he had a magical year. He got them there, though. He got yeah, them he there. He got there, there and he know, then threw five he got interceptions. Him, he, got, he got him there. Man, you know how hard it is to get there? Man, yeah, yeah, you know. It's hard. <laughs> hard. Got there. They're not, they not going nowhere. Don't Who? Worry. The Jets. Man, listen. It'll be a great story, though. It's a good script. Listen, the narrative is going. <laughs> and the narrative is going. And you know, Who these told days, us that, narrative... that, that, that the NFL is scripted. That over there? Who said that? Scripted. Who said that? <laughs> whoever that guy was that said that. Man, whoever, man, they're clicking. They, you know what I mean? That's, that's going to be scripted. That, that whole situation is scripted. That? Who How said you... that? You remember that dude said that? From, yeah, the Adrian nigga from uh, the Texans. Jet situation? Scripted. Yeah, at it's home, true. telling that story. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, Arian Foster, he got the script on that. He the production <laughs> manager on this one. <laughs> yeah, it sound good. It sound good. T squares. Yeah. What is, what's out there as my best bet? Today? Week week one. Week, week one. one. Well, no, no, this is bet. this is for the season, baby. Oh, this, this is for the season. season. This is for the season. This, this is the is best bet for the season. season? For the season. Because, what's the best bet for the season? Because you the tasked me. The under. You tasked me to go through. <laughs> <laughs> You tasked me to go through BetMGM and find some season-long futures that I could hit. So I took this big nose and I went sniffing for the best Let's bet I could it. find. <laughs> what you find, T? What you find? Okay. What you find? Last year, 
I hated the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. I hated them. I thought Mitch Trubisky and a rookie Kenny Pickett was going to yeah. just be a flat line that entire franchise. I know the defense is great. I know Mike Tomlin, one of the best coaches in the world. I thought they were going to be trash, and I bet hard against them. Mm. And I was wrong. They went 7-2 and two the last nine weeks of the season. 7-2, and two, one of the best mm. records in the world to get over 500, to be 9-8, and eight, and just be uh, kicked out of the playoffs. Mm. They almost did it, even with all the crap that they had to deal with. Mm -hmm. And so I really went to research them this offseason to try and figure out how did they get to 9-8. and eight. I know, again, defense, Mike Collin, but that offense was terrible. How did they do it? Not only was the offense terrible, it was worse than I thought. Since 1990, that's almost as long as I've been walking this earth, since 1990, the 2022 Pittsburgh Steelers had the shortest length of touchdown out of any team in the NFL. I'm sorry, they were third. They had the shortest length of touchdown since 1990. <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers this offseason went out there trying to become more explosive, to have bigger passes, to have bigger run plays. And their offensive coordinator isn't a guy that I enjoy, Matt Canada, but Mike Tomlin I respect completely. So he knew what he had to do to go to work on. And we've seen in this preseason, Kenny Pickett, chucking the ball deep when he's been out there. Two guys like George Pickens, who I think is one of the most exciting young players in the NFL. They have some running backs, Jalen Warren, that can really explode and be a home run threat as soon as he gets the ball. That defense is always going to be awesome. That team is always going to be well run. But now that they know they're adding that explosive capability to that offense, I do believe that Kenny Pickett with his two gloves and his small hands and his long hair, I don't care. I think it's going to be a very good offense. I love Pittsburgh to take one of the wild card spots in the AFC. Yeah. I, I think Cincinnati is the best team in that division, so I'm not taking Pittsburgh to get a division title. I think Pittsburgh is going to be feisty as hell, at least 10 wins, and steal one of those wild card spots, and I believe the odds are plus 240. That, to me, you bet anything you bet, you're getting two and a half in return and profit. I think that's stealing money. That's I think the that's best team, bet is going to be out there. And if you get to week 17, week 18, and it's, it's close, you're getting plus 240. You can bet against it so you make money either way mm -hmm. with those odds at the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. I love Pittsburgh, a wild card team for the Steelers. That, I think, is my best bet of the year. Listen, man, Steelers, gonna, they're going to go away from their game plan that got them <laughs> them 7-2 in them last nine weeks, and they're going to start trying to throw it long, and they're going to be throwing interceptions. I got them not making the playoffs. So you just Paul, Paul, I just think came in here negative we, Nancy today. We didn't plan this. this. <laughs> we, we did not plan this at all. all right. I've come here with take after take after Straight take. Up. I'm pretty sure you've gone against every single word I've said. So if that, one of us is going to be right, one of us is going to be wrong. By the way, I'm going my P and I are not experts on this matter. We're all fans giving our own opinion in this. If you choose to use this advice, that's on your own that's risk. That's your own risk. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Thank you for joining KG Certified today. This is our NFL <laughs> edition. <laughs> Bet responsibly, be safe. <laughs> See you guys soon. <laughs> KG certified, we out, man. All right, here are my five best bets for the season and for week one. To start off with week one, I really like the Denver Broncos minus three and a half hosting the Las Vegas Raiders. Broncos are 25 and four since 1990 when having a home game in the first two weeks of the season. I really like them stomping the Raiders, Sean Payton's first game. My best bet though, has to be the Pittsburgh Steelers to steal a wild card spot. It's plus 240. I believe that offense is gonna be a lot more explosive and that defense is gonna be wonderful. A bet I didn't get to during the show though, Jared Goff to lead the NFC North in passing yards over Kirk Cousins. Don't tell BetMGM, I just think it's price wrong. Jared Goff's getting plus 240 himself. He only has to get five yards a game more than Kirk Cousins in order to beat Kirk at that. Also, Kirk was sacked twice as much as Goff last year. I think Goff is successful in this endeavor, but he's not my golden boy. That's Justin Herbert, the MVP of the league at plus 1100. I love the golden god. Maybe I'm in love with that hair. I don't know. Don't tell my wife. I'm digging Justin Herbert. And then the last bet I'll give you, this is the longest shot. Okay, defensive MVP, I'm buying the hard knocks buzz. Interior D-line wins out again, a true disruptive force in the NFL coming into his own under a big contract and a lot on his shoulders to carry that defense to the playoffs. It's Quinn and Williams at plus 2,500 to be your defensive MVP. Quinn and Williams of the New York Jets and that's my five best bets. It is embedded. The mission is launched. Let's go! 
your cover is blown, there is no saving you.